What's up with the YouTube? It's your boy McFly, man, the hardest working man in shoe tainment today. If it's your first time over here in the land of McFly, I want to welcome you. And now if you like this video, you can go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. All support is much appreciated, man. Support your folk, bro. We out here working hard, man. Hardest working man in shoe tainment today. But like I was telling everybody on um, Instagram and um, Facebook and whatnot, what the hell? <laughs> we ain't editing or nothing, man. We just going in. That uh, I had a story about these International 12s today, man. Tell you how my day went. So, I woke up, got dressed, you know what I'm saying? Threw some little gear on or whatever to go to the mall to hit DTLR to pick up my 12s. I was super excited. It was like, yeah, man, we're going to get this 12 review out. We're going to get my first mall vlog. You know, we're going to hit North Lake Mall. They got a Jimmy Jazz in there, DTLR, Kids Foot Locker, Regular Foot Locker, Journeys, Champs, and a finish line. I was going to hit them all. You know, don't nobody be hitting Journeys. I was going to hit them anyway. Just because they got a Dix in there, too. I probably would have hit Dix up, too. All of that. I was so excited about that mall vlog, man. So we got the camera ready or whatever. We hop out the whip and did this banging-ass intro, man. Intro was dope in the parking lot. And we walk in the mall, as soon as we walk in, it's a security guard talking about you can't have cameras in the mall. You can't record and you can't do this because they don't know what you're going to say in, in, your, in your videos or whatever or how the publicity will look. And in my mind, I'm like, bro, if it's the truth, it's the truth, no matter what I say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't shame a mall. It's, it's a mall, you know, but whatever. So we had to go back and forth with this conversation with security. Needless to say, they wouldn't let me vlog. So I'm gonna have to um I'm gonna have to double back and um try to vlog on the low with my cell phone. Hope don't nobody catch me, but I'm gonna get that vlog up. If I can't get it up um tomorrow, we'll probably have to do it for next week. But um anyway, I go into the store, hit DTLR, I had a guaranteed ticket or whatever. Get a man my ticket, they come out with the shoe. Like, yeah, all right, so let's go ahead and check the shoes. Like I say, I always check my shoes, man. You'll never see me not check a shoe because it's only right. You you have to check these shoes, man. I'm not about to walk out with anything. So we get the right shoe out. It's perfect. Magnificent condition. No complaints with that right shoe. But, boy, when I got to this damn left shoe, boy, it, I mean, it was, it, was, it, was, it was horrible. Like, hold on. Let, let, me, get, let me get a shoe. So I can show y'all what I'm talking about. Because my dumb ass didn't have the, uh, didn't take no footage or nothing in the mall. I should have recorded that so I had it. You know what I'm saying? Played like I was inspecting the shoe, which I was. But, you know, just showing y'all. Um, if you don't follow me on um, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, I wore these today. Babrooosh! You see them? Master 12's baby boy. I got another crazy story about these things. Man, my shoe was huge, bro. I can't even fit that shit. Look, look, look. Barely. <laughs> you can fit it in the screen, man. But I got a crazy story about these, man. They dropped CIAA a couple years ago. Whew. I dropped that story in another video. But um, the problem I had with this left shoe, man, um, right here on this part where the, the side panel meets that midsole right there, you know, the connection here. Now, you see how smooth that is on these masters, man? Smooth, clean, no problem. It looked like Freddy Krueger was in the factory, man, making these. It was like zag, 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 zag. It was like Bart Simpson hair <laughs> on that left shoe, man. It was terrible across here. Then on the back, man, these things fire. Had a paint chip here because the shoe, you know what I'm saying, is blue. So the blue parts... Had a, had a paint white chip here and a paint white chip on this side. And I'm like, bro, I'm not I'm not buying this shoe, man. I can't. So I got to thinking about it. I was like, man, you know what? I could just go ahead and um, I could just go ahead, cop the shoe, do the review on it. You know what I'm saying? Take that shit back. But um, DTLR don't do, don't do um, cash back they give you store credit or they exchange the shoe i couldn't switch it out because they didn't have another 14 so i was like bro man i hate to do it to you but psh, you, you're gonna have to keep this shoe <laughs> you know what i'm saying I, you know hey i'm not buying i'm not paying you 21450 
for a flawed shoe. You're going to give me a mint condition shoe because I paid for a mint condition shoe. I mean, I can't fault DTLR for Nike and Jordan brand having weak quality control. That's not their fault, and I'm not blaming DTLR for anything. But, you know, dude looking at me like, so you going to cop, nigga? Hell no, I'm not copping that shit. Is you crazy? <laughs> like, no, man, I'm not buying no flawed shoe. Just like I wouldn't sell a flawed shoe. If you ever get a uh, if you ever get a shoe from me, a copper shoe from me, it's going to be a mint condition shoe. I'm not selling nothing with flaws because I'm not buying nothing with flaws. You know, I keep my, my, my customer in the back of my mind, and I treat my customers how I want to be treated. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people out here selling shoes, and they selling them to you for the high with flactory flaws and everything. So... Either way, I left that pair in DTLR. We skated. I was like, yo, we can go up and hit Jimmy Jazz. But Jimmy Jazz did raffles on Wednesday. And um, that Jimmy Jazz didn't get a 14. So I was out of luck on that. Nowhere else in the whole mall got a 14. So I hopped on Nike, checked out, you know what I'm saying, with a 14. So I got the shoe coming. Got the shoe coming in the mail in my personal size. Um, I had a reserve pair from earlier in the week. I looked out for one of the homies on it, so I got that pair coming in on Tuesday. So uh, if he'll let me review that pair, I'll go ahead and review it just so I can get the review up for you guys. We'll probably do the mall vlog next week. That first pair will be here Tuesday, and my personal pair will be here Thursday. So that's probably how I'm. Uh, that's probably how I'm gonna have to swing that. You know, but the shit sucks, man, because I really want that shoe. But Jordan Brand's got to do something about this quality control, man. This, this stuff's out of hand. You can't keep charging people 200 plus dollars for flawed shoes, man. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's got to stop, bro. It's, it's got to stop. And at the same time, us as consumers, man, we got to stop buying that shit. Stop buying them flawed pairs of shoes, man. Stop buying them. Check your shoes before you leave the store, bro. So that way, even if it's flawed, you can debate, you know, if, if you're good with it. If you still want to take that shoe, you know, or whatever. Stop buying these flawed pairs, man. You're paying full price for, for flawed stuff. That shit don't make sense to me. But that's pretty much it, man. They shut down my whole vlogging. The shoe was flawed. I was like, man, I, psh, I had enough for one day, man. I, I didn't have enough, bro. <laughs> I don't have enough. So either way, the other review is the 12 reviews going up next week. And I might try to squeeze that mall vlog in tomorrow, but you know the Panthers play them Cowboys. So I gotta watch that and watch these Cowboys take that L. But um anyway, man, it's your boy McFly, bro. We signing out, man. Holla at y'all.